Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies, this is Srinivas. So, in this session, so we are going to discuss one very important FAQ in Core Java. So, that is, so why cannot we handle a child type exception? So, after handling a parent type, so means what for that? So, we should know one concept is that, so one try block, so one try block can handle n number of catch blocks, nothing but this is allowed in Java. One try block can have multiple catch blocks to handle different different types of exceptions. So, it is allowed in Java. Next, uh, is one problem using one try block you cannot handle same exception more than one time. See suppose is arithmetic exception if you handle again followed by you cannot handle arithmetic exception once again. So, this is, is not allowed. This is allowed. So, one try block can have n number of catch blocks in Java application. First one is allowed, but using one try block you cannot handle same exception more than one time. So, based on this, so now we will discuss this one, Okay, see how it is not allowed. And see for example, as we are writing like this a try block and first in the catch block in the catch block so we are handling arithmetic exception it is a subtype right and next is so followed by so we are handling exception type. So, one is a subtype and one is a super type if you write like this it is allowed it is allowed. So, why sir? Why means see for example, I am writing the hierarchy here to understand very clearly throwable for throwable exception is a class exception and second one is a error and here it is for exception the runtime exception is there and here it is a so many exceptions are there. So, leave it I O exception file not found exception file not found exception and so many exceptions are there leave it. And here it is for runtime exception, arithmetic exception, null pointer exception, number format exception, array index out of bounds exception. So many exceptions are there. This is the hierarchy we know. We already discussed once. So here, so now, if you try to handle like this, so how the compilation will be? So at compile time, the so first you you just want to handle arithmetic exception. So how compiler thinks means uh, the person clearly specifying that uh, the person want to the programmer want to handling arithmetic exception. Second time we are not specifying very clearly what type of exception is a common type we are specifying. The common type means what compiler will bind up with uh, all the remaining classes except arithmetic exception all the remaining classes in the hierarchy. So, means what next exception is not arithmetic exception. See arithmetic exception means what already you are handling separately. Na? So, it will not include arithmetic exception except arithmetic exception it will comes under all the remaining exceptions. For example, suppose if you handle super type first exception exception E and just consider second one is a arithmetic exception second one is arithmetic exception a now just consider. So, first time whenever the means what the compiler is trying to compile. So, whenever it is look at that exception ok the programmer want to handle an exception. So, so what compiler will do means it will bind up with all the subclasses of exception. So, means what it is including in the first case it is including arithmetic exception also. And next whenever the compiler come and check this one arithmetic exception hey you are already handling here then why you are handling once again you cannot handle same exception more than one time using try block it is impossible case already here you are handling arithmetic exception in this arithmetic exception chance is there then why once again you are specifying explicitly it is not allowed. So, that is why after handling super type exception it is impossible to handle second time exception because here the same exception already has been caught right you cannot catch that exception once again. Okay. So, this is the reason behind that why we cannot handle a child type exception after handling parent type. So, very very important question right in every Java interview point of view. Okay. So, hope you understood well. For more videos, please subscribe to Naresh IT channel. Thank you. Thank you all.